Hi, it's Bianca and welcome back to another witchcraft video. I love when I say that. It makes me feel like old school YouTube is like making a comeback and I'm like allowed to have an intro like that without people skipping over. Today's video is actually going to combine two of like my most favorite things. One being witchcraft and one being mental health coping mechanisms, grounding exercises for people with anxiety. If you don't have anxiety, but like sometimes you get like this overwhelming sense of like, what the hell is going on? This video and these steps will be like really fun and calming to follow. I have an entire like mental health playlist if you want to sift through those and kind of like figure out what I always felt helped for me as well as obviously the witchery playlist which is like spells and practical things that like may or may not work it just depends on how you want to look at it. So today's video is brought to you by a Pinterest infographic and we're kind of going to just sift through the motions of it. So first things first, sit outdoors or facing a window and get comfortable. Facing my window, I'm sitting down. Two is closing your eyes, focusing on your breathing until you feel calm. Third, open your eyes and notice five things you can see. Me. <laughs> the tree in my backyard that is quite dead. <laughs> the sunlight kind of beaming through my actual glasses case, even though I'm wearing a pair of blue light glasses on my face, and the delicious iced coffee beverage that I made myself. Next, notice the things you can hear. I hear the air conditioning. I actually hear children playing outside. <laughs> I just heard a car drive down this way. A four. I just heard the toilet flush. <laughs> Anytime I have to do like a meditative video, I just always hear the noises from the bathroom. So, subscribe. Next, notice three things that you can feel. Mm, my rings. This was my grandma's ring. <laughs> Isn't it so pretty? And this ring, it's a snake. It's from Etta Love. My jeans are nice and genie. I actually feel a little bit of the warmth from the sun in front of me. Um, not that that's like physically touch, but I, I feel like the, like the rays. And I also have a candle burning, feeling like two senses of warmth. Notice two things you can smell. Well, I have a candle burning. It's actually my new moon friendship candle, so if you missed that video, I will link it up here. And, um, but it is on my channel. It's like one of the last few videos that I posted. And in the candle is lavender and sugar. So it doesn't really smell like crazy crazy, but I definitely smell and notice that there's a candle burning. I smell my coffee because it's an espresso pod. So it's like strong and rich and creamy. Other than that, I don't really smell much. I try to live a scentless existence. And next, which is the last step in this grounding exercise, notice one thing you can taste. Oh, well, hello. The coffee is the main star of this show, but I taste my delicious beverage. So let me, let me explain to you exactly what's in my delicious, delicious beverage. I have the Dunkin' Extra Vanilla Vanilla Creamer that I put like, I put like that much of, and then I put less than half of like normal milk. Sorry, I drink milk. I hate the taste of almond milk in coffee, but I love almond milk. I just, I just can't drink coffee. A three ounce shot of espresso, which is flavored like, kind of like a blonde roast at Starbucks. And I guess guys, we are now grounded. Like this video or save this video in like a watch later playlist or something. So you could go through the motions with me. That would be awesome. Fortunately, I'm gonna knock on wood right now. Haven't had much anxiety randomly happen to me lately, which is obscene, but it's exciting. And I would like to blame it on certain practices that I've been trying to follow, be more mindful about. Hopefully that resonates. 
also with you. And if it does, please make sure that you are subscribed and I'll see you in my next video.